Good morning, Liberty Lovers and Freedom Fighters. Please find a seat on the Liberty Bus, get comfortable, and we will begin our tour. I'm going to machine gun rapid fire some ideas today. We're going to be, the bus is going to keep driving, and you're just going to have to look through the window. Hidden deadly viral gene found in commercial GMO crops. Uh, the film Genetic Roulette, which I mentioned, there's a few days left to watch it on YouTube. And one of the things I learned from that film that I had not known before is that GMO crops contain a, it's not really a virus, but some kind of a biological entity that seems to cause spontaneous miscarriage and death of the offspring. So watch the film. It's, it's good. It's interesting. I'm glad I watched it. Um, 8.0 earthquake in the Santa Cruz Islands. Now, I don't, I, I'm not attaching any special significance to this. Carrie believes that it's caused by harp. I have noticed I have an earthquake app on my uh, iPhone and I've been seeing you know, huge quakes popping up at Santa Cruz Islands. I don't know what's going on there. I know it's off the north coast of New Zealand to the northeast of Australia. It happens to be fairly close to Fiji where it's rumored some of the American government mafia have relocated to. Whether that has anything to do with the quakes, I, I just don't know. I just floated out there. And I'm also floating this out there. City killer asteroid will pass close to Earth on February 15th. My personal take on most of this kind of stuff, Nibiru and all that, I believe it's, it's mostly used to generate fear and panic and negative louche on which demons feed, if you've heard me talk about that before. Uh, so I think it was Stephen Kelly who had a video about that interesting concept which I happen to believe so don't be afraid even though Brzezinski this is this is an older statement but I wanted to mention in light of some natural disasters things like that it's easier to kill a million people than to control a million people so if they can they'll they'll kill us we have to trust in God and do what we can to remain safe and demand that some of these evils are stopped. Mental disorders among Iraq veterans and more from CRS. And I, I have three of these related articles. Study 22 military veterans commit suicide every day. And why do American soldiers commit suicide at, an un, at unprecedented rates? Well, the other day I, sh I had... Uh, from one of Ron Paul's websites that PTSD is not an illness, that it's a, guilt from killing is a natural response. So just want to keep that in mind when we consider veterans. Here, <laughs> uh, this, is, this is a mind blower. Hillary Clinton, we created Al-Qaeda, and this video is only a little over a minute long. In it, Hillary basically says we reap what we sow. It almost was enough to make me wonder if she really is an evil person, but, you know, a tree is known by its fruit, so I guess she is. Gun control push causing mass awakening among conservatives about psychiatric drugs. Great. Do Wall Street insiders expect something really big to happen very soon? There, I don't know if you heard, there was a very large put, uh, the, I think the highest, generally the biggest put position would be 500, and this uh, group or whoever was holding 100,000 puts. So they're betting that the market will go down. The U.S. economy is now dangerously detached from reality. Wow, you think? I mean, most people in this country are dangerously detached from reality, right? 
And along those lines, approaching the existential cliff, 17 denial statements made by the sleeping masses. And this might be some good talking points for you to use to help your friends, please God, <laughs> to wake up and become aware of what's really going on in this country. Always ask a judge for translator from legalese to English if you're going to court. This is one idea. I actually, uh, there are what, some of the things I mentioned yesterday, the One People's Public Trust, and divine province are probably better approaches to court than this. There were also videos from uh, David, I think it's David Wynn Miller. I might have mentioned those. If I did, I wanted to qualify a little bit. I heard him speak on the Morning Liberty radio program this morning, and he was advocating limiting the population of the world and he was talking about petroleum consumption without really factoring in the potential of alternative new technology. So I'm kind of, I'm not, not high on David Wynn Miller right now, just FYI. <laughs> CIA nominee pressed on drone, U.S. drone policy and waterboarding. And more uh, same information about the same idea. John Brennan, the nexus of torture and drone assassinations. This torture thing, one thing that I think was Alex Jones or Kurt Nimmo, somebody on his program mentioned yesterday, that after World War II, the US, people in the U.S. were shocked and stunned by the information about the Japanese using waterboarding. And at that time, waterboarding was considered horrendous torture. And now these guys want us to believe that, you know, hey, it's just a way to get information. It doesn't really kill them. It just scares them. Uh, could we think again, please? Oath Keepers, Seattle Mayor Ends Police Drone Efforts. Awesome. Because I saw a map this morning of cities and communities that are cleared by the FAA for drones, and whew, it's a lot. Did not include that map because I want to end with something positive. Uh, there are communities who are saying no to drones. So thank God. Keep talking, keep shouting, keep acting like two-year-olds and saying, no, you can't do that to me. <laughs> and maybe they'll hear us eventually. I am a man. I am not a number, like the old prisoner TV show. She who will walk in the dark thanks you for joining her on this tour of the day, which happens to be February 8th, 2013. And hopes that you have a great weekend, hopes that you are able to get out of the matrix into the real world and have some fun. The dawn is coming. <coughs> Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Take care, be free, and love one another. <laughs>